Hey guys, so in this video here, I'm going to tell you the top two sealers I like to use when I seal stamp concrete. So this video was sealing a big, huge stamp concrete pool deck. And it's actually, this stamp pool deck is about five or six years old. So it's a, actually a reseal of a stamp pool deck. But whether you already have an existing stamp concrete pool deck patio or it's brand new, these are my top two sealers I use. So let's talk about the first one. And, you know, make sure you hang out till the end of the video where you'll find out exactly the brand, the, the name brands I use on my jobs. So this first one we're using, it's an acrylic topical concrete sealer. So this one's used to enhance the color, you know, protect the surface against uh, de-icing, against stains and oils and, and mold and mildew, mildew and stuff like that. But the main purpose of an acrylic topical sealer, in, you know, for what we use it for is to enhance the color. Now you can see this stamp concrete had some color in it, but you can see how dull it is, how much it's been worn off over the years. This pool deck hasn't been resealed for, I don't know, it's probably four or five years. And you can see when Luke's spraying the, the sealer on it, the topical sealer, the acrylic one, how it really enhances the color of the sealer and brings it right back to life, makes it look brand new again. So that's the topical acrylic sealer. And this is how we apply it. You know, we go around, we'll cut the edges in, which is what I was doing there. You saw me, I was rolling the edges around the coping and then Luke was brushing the edges around the stairs. And then... Darren's kind of holding a, you know, a piece of cardboard so we don't get any sealer in the pool or, or on the fence or anything like that. And Luke's just using, what we got there was we got a really good stainless steel sprayer and you can see the mist, it just sprays out a really fine mist. And that's as thick as you want to put it on right there. You don't want to put it on very thick when you're using an acrylic sealer. You want to put it on really, really thin. And you can roll it on too. We just find it it goes on so much easier and faster if you spray it on. So I'll have a link for the sprayer down in the description if you want to check that out, as well as the sealers I'm going to talk about. You know, that'll all be down in the description too, guys. So the first one I use is this one right here, the acrylic topical concrete sealer. And like I said, it's going to leave a film on the surface, which will wear off. I mean, it's basically good for a year or two. And then you got to redo it to make it keep looking like new. But if you really want color enhancement, you know, this is the one you're going to want to use. The second one we use is, is a penetrating sealer. And it will penetrate down into the pores of the concrete if the concrete hasn't already been sealed. Or if the concrete's pretty old and the, and the sealer's worn off. You know, if, if you've got stamped concrete and you can spray some water on it and the water just soaks into it, then you can use this penetrating sealer for sure. So why would you want to use a penetrating sealer versus this acrylic sealer right here? Well, the penetrating sealer we use does a couple things. It does a couple things differently. First of all, you know, it soaks down into the pores of the concrete and it hardens inside the pores and it blocks the pores. So it seals the concrete up really good from the inside. And it doesn't leave a film on the surface. So where an acrylic sealer like this could possibly be a little bit slippery when it gets wet. I mean, you can add a, you can add a, a non-slip additive to the sealer, but you'd have to roll it on to do that. Whereas the penetrating sealer we use doesn't leave any film on the surface. So it doesn't, it's not as slippery, number one. It also hardens and densifies the concrete. So it'll help, it'll just help maintain uh, your concrete to last longer. And you don't have to keep reapplying it. When you add the penetrating sealer to the concrete, it'll, I mean, it'll last up to 15 years before you have to do anything again. So that's, that's one good benefit of the penetrating sealer is it just, it doesn't wear off. The sun doesn't degrade it and uh, it's, it's much longer lasting than a, an acrylic like this is. The thing with these acrylics is, you know, if you, if you get too much of it on, if you spray it too thick or it builds up, it starts to turn kind of white, which is called, we call that blushing, and it gets moisture trapped under it. So 
then you got to remove it and and go new so that's when you got to start getting into like a a sealer stripper or xylene to to remove the sealer but anyway my top two sealers so this one here we're using and we use this one a lot is foundation armors ar350 so i mean we we really like this sealer for enhancing the color for for especially for stamp concrete so you can check that out down in the description and the penetrating sealer i recommend is last to seal from from radon seal so i'll have a link for that down in the description you can check that out both of them are my top two sealers my go-to sealers depending on just what we're doing and and what kind of pool deck we're going around or patio or driveway or whatever your stamp concrete is but you can see how that really brings the concrete back to life there well anyway you got any questions ask them down in the comments and thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video